Hey everybody, it's Jordan with Warp Fire Manias again. We're into round two for LVO and we got Cruel Boys. They've got a ton of shooting and mortal wounds, so I'm gonna have to make some big risks and make some big plays, but here we go. All right, so for round two, we match into Cruel Boys. And a lot of people are kind of down on Cruel Boys, but they're actually doing like pretty well. There was a couple of Cruel Boys players that like just missed making the top eight at LVO. So pairing into this, I'll walk you through his list again, just to kind of point out the threats, things I'm worried about. He had two squads of Hobgrots. They're just chaff screens. The Vulture, who can do a surprising amount of damage if he spikes, and he's very, very fast, so you always have to be wary of it. Then there's 20 Gut Rippers here, and they can also do a surprising amount of damage if the Shaman gives them the buff instead of the Bolt Boys. Um, he's got two squads of six Bolt Boys, and so those are gonna get the toxins every turn, but in a pinch, if he needs to, like they can, the Gut Rippers there can pump some damage out. Then he has two Kill Bows, a Killaboss, and the Merc Knob Banner and then a Sludraker. The Sludraker also does a lot of damage, so for me looking at this list, this is a bad matchup for me. So the six Bolt Boys, they can do enough damage and Mortal Wounds to just kill any of my big rats in one shot, and that's from one squad. So the two squads, I could be looking at losing two of the big rats per turn. Add in a couple Kill Bows who can also spike and do a bunch of damage, like the shooting threat here is gonna be a bad time. Combo that with the Vulture being very fast and like being able to clear out my clan rats really quick. And then the Sludge Raker giving all the guys around an extra mortal wound if they roll a six. Plus in combat, he's a beast as well. So I can't just sit back and wait for him to come to me. I'm gonna have to kind of force the issue in these kinds of matchups. So uh, he ended up out dropping me and he decided to take the first turn and he just kind of shoved forward. I had deployed out of his shooting ranges um, he had the bows back behind the screens. And so I didn't want to give him just any kind of free shots at anything good I had. So his turn, he just moved forward. Um, this mission was Fountains of Frost. So it's going to be tough for him to score one, two more turn one. So I think he was just pushing in to deny my magical dominance and then just kind of get his castle set up where next turn he's going to be in range of everything else. Um, for my deployment, I just screened everything out with the clan rats. I've got the 10 PCBs down here in range of death frenzy and the buffs from the priests. I put a few clan rats on this objective with the help hit touching to make sure he couldn't just zoom that vulture over here and take this objective from me. Um, I'm gonna try and use some teleports and things like that to potentially score more this turn. So I wanna make sure he doesn't to get an early lead. So that's his turn one. We're just gonna jump straight into the bottom of one. Goes to me. Um, my battle tactic this time is gonna be invaders. Um, the deployment's only 11 inches up, so I just need to walk everybody forward a couple inches and I'll score that battle tactic. But we go to spell casting, and I start off with a dreaded death frenzy and I get it. And we get death frenzy, I put it onto Screech and the Plague Sensor Bearers. Next up, we Mystic Shield from the Gracier onto Screech. And then we cast the Skitter Leap. And I Skitter Leap Screech as well. And now that we have Screech up there, he goes ahead and casts Arcane Bolt just to do a little extra chip damage. And then I cast the Dreaded 13th. The idea of putting him up here is this is kind of a risky position, but I can be within 13 inches of these Bolt Boys while also being wholly within six of my own gnaw hole. So I can go for this spell, potentially kill some Bolt Boys, summon in some Clan Rats, and then charge Screech in. Or if I try to cast this spell and it goes poorly, at the end of my movement phase, I can just teleport Screech back to another gnaw hole to be safe. So this is just, just kind of a feeler. I'm gonna put this out here, kind of see what happens. But we cast the Dreaded 13th and I end up doing seven mortal wounds, which kills three of those Bolt Boys, which also summons in seven Clan Rats. And then since he wasn't close enough to the center, those summoned Clan Rats can actually get onto the objective, a few of them. So that's gonna be useful for later on. And that's pretty much it for the hero phase. We get some other buffs over here. We get the Rabid Rabid buff for plus one to attack. I get a bless off on them to give them a six up ward. And they already got Death Frenzy from the Warbringer. So we go into the movement phase and we move. So we move these clan rats up with a run. And that's mostly just to get them out of the way of the Hell Pit and the Warbringer. So we run the Hell Pit as well. Just his random movement isn't consistent enough to be able to get into charge range this turn. So you go for the run just to get them in a better position. The Warbringer end up leaving a little bit farther back just to stay out of range of the hasty shot from the Bolt Boys. And then 
he moves so fast where next turn if I do get priority, he'll be able to move 12 and get into all the good stuff later on. So this is just playing a little bit safe on him. Uh, these clan rats scoot up just to get across the line for our battle tactic, as do the plague priests. The PCBs do a regular move over this way, and then the Gracier runs to get across the line. This Gracier runs, he doesn't get across the line, but we're just getting him in range of the clan rats so he can't be shot by the bolt boys. At the end of the movement phase, we also are gonna gnaw hold these PCBs over to this one. So I roll the charge roll with these clan rats first that got summoned in. Um, I don't care if they make it in or not, so it's a good one to kind of fish for that first charge roll for three claw steps. So we roll it and boom, we get a 10 right off the bat. So we're going in. We don't actually charge the clan rats. We're gonna use that charge roll for everybody else. So Screech goes in. So Screech made it in and then the PCBs over here, we charge them in as well. Uh, we, at the end of the charge, we do our monstrous rampage and roar the gut rippers just so they can't all out defense. And then we're gonna fight with the PCBs first. We're gonna use Screech's command to give them plus one to hit, plus one to wound. And they're gonna swing into those gut rippers. Um, one thing also, he unleashed hell with these bolt boys into Screech when he charged, and they did a couple wounds. So the PCBs, they pile in and fight, and we do just a bucket of damage. The gut rippers, they're two wounds each, and I think we end up leaving like three of them alive. He then fights with the Hobgrots, does another wound to Screech, and then Screech fights into those Hobgrots and murders him. Then end of the phase between all attacks, all defenses, and everything else, the Unleash Hell, he didn't have any CP left. So has to roll bravery on the Gut Rippas, and they flee. So for me, that turn was the absolute dream of my life. Um, it doesn't go any better than that for Skaven. Like getting the big spell, followed by the big charge, followed by the big combat, like that's it. Um, we go into a big priority roll, we roll it off, and I win the prio, so here comes the pain. So top of two battle tactic is we're just going to lead into the maelstrom. I've got battle line in range, I've got hero in range, uh, going to be easy to charge. There's some heroes over here that I'll just choose not to kill to make sure I don't finish outside of combat. So we cast some more spells. Um, with the Screech spell, we end up killing a killabo. We get a Death Frenzy off on the Warbringer and the Hell Pit, and some other things, but it doesn't really matter. We'll just go straight into movement. The Hell Pit scoots up, Warbringer scoots up, Screech goes down this way, PCBs move in, they're staying outside of three. I run these Clan Rats up just to start moving that way to get more bodies on the objective. Gracier runs, Plague Priest run. These Clan Rats, we kind of just hunker down on this objective. I'm gonna focus on this middle, just if I can take this stuff out, it's game over. Like if he's got a Hobgrouts and a Vulture, I just, it just doesn't matter. So gonna put these down here where if the Vulture does try and come down here, make it a little bit harder for him to take. Since I moved that Hell Pit off of it, we just wanna have more bodies than a monster counts as. And I leave this Gracier down here as well. Just he's, he knows Blizzard, so if the Vulture does come down, I'll have at least one chance to zap him back. All right, then end of movement, we go ahead and drop in our other PCBs, just Things are going great, let's keep that rolling. All right, then we go to the charge phase. Um, I'm gonna start with the drill. In a dream world, we're gonna charge the drill into these six bolt boys, that way they have to unleash hell into him. We roll the charge and boom, we get it. So now that the drill made it in and you can't unleash hell, we go ahead and charge in the hell pit. I get to use that good charge roll again for everybody, so things are great. Warbringer, I'm gonna send over here to this squad. Just, if he wants to unleash hell into the Warbringer, he's full health. Uh, since he didn't do it over here, he does do it here and does like four damage. And I put the Warbringer here. Um, this general staying alive was his grand strategy. So I'll just be able to kill him. The PCBs over here will be able to kill the, the Bolt Boys. So the Warbringer's just going to focus down that guy, make sure we stop the grand strat and get, get too far ahead where he won't be able to catch back up. Screeches in Rin 3, damage 3 stance on his glaive. Goes over here. And then the PCBs crash in. And I ended up sending a few of these down here into the Sludge Raker, just as an insurance policy in case Screech doesn't do it. We go to Monstrous Rampages. I roar the squad of six Bolt Boys to make sure they die. I stomp a Bolt Boy to death over here. And we Titanic Duel with Screech to get the plus one to hit with that big glaive. Into combats, I fight with Screech first. Um, he tries to roar me and fails, so I pop his command to give himself plus one to hit, plus one to wound. And with the damage three stance, he kills the Sludge Raker. He fights with the Bolt Boys and does a couple damage to the Hell Pit. 
but at this point, to make a long story short, just everything goes my way. The PCBs end up killing the Bolt Boys and the Shaman. Warbringer ends up killing both of these heroes while also piling in to be within three of the Killbow for my battle tactic. Help it kills all six of these Bolt Boys. And then these guys also made their charge over here into the Hobgrots. That got them within three of this Vulture, but he's not going to kill all of them. I've got a CP to auto pass and it's gonna tie him up for the next turn. And so they also kill these Hobgrots. And so the only thing he has left on the board after this is the Shaman, a Kilbo, and a Vulture. And since I've already scored him, outscored him the one point, and he's already failed his grand strategy, like that ends up being the game. Like we, we play it out and like next turn his Vulture kills the PCBs. Then he flies the Vulture around, kills a bunch of clan rats. I go for a blizzard and don't get it. And we still play it out and have a good time, but I got way too far ahead right here with just the, the double turns, making all the charges, hitting the spells. Like when things go right with this list, like it goes very right. As you can see, we pretty much tabled them top of two. And so that's round two. Uh, we're one and one. Feeling a lot better about the tournament now. Like the four one dream is still alive. If you start off with a couple losses, it feels bad. So one and one's not that bad. And uh, just a big shout out to my opponent here. Like things went very right for me and it's, it would be easy to feel bad in those kinds of moments, but he took it in stride. Like he's played enough games of Warhammer where he knows this is how it shakes out sometimes. And we, we played it out and a good time was had by both of us, even with this big swing in the beginning. So that's the kind of opponent you wanna be. When, when somebody's winning big, you don't wanna be sour about the whole experience and like ruin their good time. So that's how we should all strive to be in any kind of tournament experience. So now with Cruel Boys down, our next opponent, we match up into Stormcast. He's got a little bit of shooting, a lot of high armor, so let's see what the rats can do. Check it out. And if you ever need any models, check us out at warpfireminis.com. Thanks for watching.